The text capsule allows you to insert written content into your hubs, either directly or cut and pasted from another text editor. To enter information into your text capsule, click the Edit button. Should you choose, you can enter in a subtitle related to your text. If you have already written the content for this capsule in another application, such as Google Docs or Microsoft Word, simply cut and paste the content into the capsule. You also have the option to write content directly into the text capsule. The capsule offers several editing options, including the ability to cut, copy, and paste text, bold, italicize, and underline your words, check spelling, indicate large sections of quotations, adjust formatting, format numbered and bulleted lists, undo mistakes, insert special characters and URL links, and even add superscripts and subscripts. If you are more comfortable editing your content in HTML, you also have an option to enter and edit your text through an HTML source editor. To do so, simply click the HTML icon make any necessary adjustments, and click the Update to Editor button. If you want to publish your hub but are not ready to publish a particular text capsule within it, check the Don't Display This Capsule box. You'll be able to see this text capsule in your draft of a hub, but it will not appear in your published hub. When you are ready for this capsule to appear, simply uncheck the box. This option is helpful if you want to wait for a certain amount of time before making certain parts of your hub public. When you're finished editing the content of your text capsule, click the Save button. To format your text as a column, click the right pointing arrow. If you would like to give this column a background color, click the Edit button again and select from the two alternate color options. Only columns can display alternate background colors. Thank <laughs> you.